Hey, Tony Collectible fans, flyguy 4 techsushicom You have a look at this, Batman Arkham Origins Batman. And uh, I've removed this from the packaging, so I'll give you a look at that in a second. There we go, action figures. One hell of a size of packaging on this thing. It's absolutely massive. If we have a quick look at the figure, there's the figure. Look at the size of this packaging. <laughs> It's just nuts. I'm so glad the guys at DorkSeedToys.com, uh, they did send me this one and I thought I'd just try the new packaging to see what it was like. And I bought the rest of the Wave Loose uh, DC or uh, fellow Tech Sushi reviewer will probably review all of these for us. But um, uh, yeah, I'm glad I bought the rest loose because the packaging is just nuts. So yes, uh, I'll link to buy this if you want to directly underneath at DorkSeedToys.com. I think they may have sold it at this one, but be, stay tuned, they're certainly getting more in, I think, of some of the other figures anyway, but huge, huge packaging. Uh, and inside that is uh, a kind of flyer, basically. Uh, it's uh, very kind of plain and simple on one side, very kind of wintery, snowy effect. On the reverse, you get some of the other figures in there. We'll definitely get reviews of them. The Joker, Bane, and Black Mask, uh, sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. So very nice to see Gentle Giants uh, getting involved and just adding uh, a degree of quality here, which I think is very good. There's some um, yada yada text about the hit video game. One thing that's nice is you can then open this up and lo and behold inside you get uh, a look at some of the other figures uh, in there. Now DC, our fellow uh, reviewer here who's just a bat freak and does an excellent job, uh, has reviewed I think every single one of these on the channel. So go ahead and check them out in the Batman playlist. We have just about every single figure uh, reviewed. Uh, he's even reviewed Solomon Grundy recently, so uh, some excellent stuff. There's some of the actual statues, I believe that is, of Batman Arkham uh, range there from City, I think, uh, as well. So some very, very cool stuff. Yes, Arkham, uh, Arkham City statues. So lots of cool stuff inside the packaging, but on with the figure. I love this figure. It's just the face on this Batman. That is one pissed off Batman. He's just really had, uh, he's had it. Um, for some reason, this guy comes so much more bulky and padded, which is obviously more of a game than uh, Arkham Asylum. It just seems a little odd. It should seem like the other way around that Batman should have started off with a very light suit. But Arkham Origins has this guy just wearing the bulkiest of bulky armor. Haven't yet played Origins. I have played City and uh, Asylum and completed just about everything in them. Certainly on Asylum. And... Um, but I cannot wait to get my hands on uh, Origins, which is going to be with me any day. So I'm looking to get that started if I can find five seconds of my life to play video games, apart from reviewing toys. But a um, really cool looking, moody, broody looking figure on this guy. Let me see if I can get a really good close up right on that face, just because it's so important to see, I think, the quality of him. Um, the camera's not really doing it justice. It's kind of making that face blend into one, but the eyes... The paint on the eyes alone, I just love. I think it's very, very detailed. And even all the kind of uh, weathering and the just the right touch of grittiness that you'll see on the abs and on the chest and the side there. There's almost like little seams and joins, which I think work very well. You see a little bit better on the thighs there. Just even all the little nuts and bolts almost that keep this uh, armour that he's got together. So, a very, very cool figure. Uh, there is one peg hole in the bottom, I should mention. Uh, yet to get some decent stands for these guys, which is, is a problem. Um, the figure itself, just to me, looks the part. It's absolutely looking ace. So I love the, uh, the detail on the arms and uh, the, uh, even underneath the, all those kind of sharp, pointy blades. But uh, he just looks excellent. Let's get a look under the cape at the back. Show you some back butt. There we go. But again, very well sculpted. Do like the sculpt indeed. Uh, the paint application is a little bit limited. I mean, there is some weathering you can see there applied at the back of those shins and some silver and whatnot, but it's it's fairly limited. He's all one kind of fairly gigantic shades of grey, 50 shades of grey. But um, it's the facial sculpt, I think, that really works for me just uh, really, really well. Uh, he has got far more articulation, I think, than the majority of the figures in the uh, Arkham Origins uh, wave, but um, still some good stuff. So we do get a movable head there, and that does have some movement back and forth, so there's a fair bit of movement in there. He does have, and the cape limits it a little bit, you can get these ball-jointed uh, shoulders just 
up to that kind of level and no more. Uh, you will see he's got a hinge on the shoulders there, it bulging out with a hinge. So there's all sorts of movement you can get on that too. And he does have a swivel wrists that is also a bit of a back and forth movement in there too. So it's kind of on a pegged hinge, very, very hard to see, but there is a little bit of movement in there too. He's also got that swivel waist and he's got that ab crunch kind of going on too. So plenty of movement in there. Got very cool uh, kind of hips that give a fair degree of movement and motion in them. Um, on the knees, there's a double joint on those knees. I think if I can get it to move, there you go. Double joint on those knees. And he's also got uh, these kind of rocking ankles. So there's a fair bit of movement there considering the bat, bat shins, whatever you want to call them, uh, gets in the way. So you could get this guy into all sorts of pretty cool fighting poses. I find it a little difficult because the figure's so chunky, so it's probably one that needs a stand in some ways. The cape at the back is a very solid and heavy uh, rubber, a very kind of um, thick piece, so, um, and all kind of just one matte black, no holes or anything in it, so, but it, again, this is a really, really cool figure. He's been especially cool for a lot of fans, and hence he's really sold out already. I think there are restocks going around. I'm sure the guys at Dark Side again, they pretty much get every other figure in the wave, I think. So uh, check them out again. Link underneath the video if you want to uh, buy these of any of the Arkham uh, Origins figures. They get some very good prices. And they've got some loose as well. So if you want to uh, buy these loose and avoid that silly packaging uh, fees, which you'll pay for and, and save a hell of a lot of postage, then check them out. Also underneath is a link to all of our social channels and uh, join us on Instagram or on Facebook, on Google Plus, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. But love to hear your comments on what you think of this, the game itself, the characters and this figure. Um, so please do leave a comment below. And we've got lots more Batman reviews to come up. As I said, probably DC that will be doing them, but um, good to see more bats. Uh, I'm getting very much more infected by... Uh, his collection every time I see it, I really want more and more Batman figures, so very, very cool. That's it. Uh, stay tuned. We'll see you for more Bat Reviews.